Five ways to cope with divorce after infidelity in 60 seconds. Number one, recognize trauma. If you feel like your emotions are all over the place, that's normal. You've experienced a trauma, which occurs when you think your world is safe, only to discover that it's not. Number two, don't blame yourself. Everyone makes mistakes in their relationships that doesn't justify or cause another person to be unfaithful. That happened because they chose to cross an immoral line of dishonesty and deception, period. Number three, mourn the loss. You may feel that soldiering on is the best play here. It's not. You suffered a loss of something you put time, energy, heart, and soul into. You need to grieve. Feel the sadness, get angry, cry, and vent. Four, prioritize self-care. Self-care is not selfish. If you try too hard to distract yourself from the needs of others, you risk burnout and you won't be able to help anybody. And number five, understand how to build healthy relationships. You may think that you can never trust again or that it's not worth the risk to be vulnerable with another person. The difference between forgiveness and trust and how to spot red flags versus indicators of trustworthiness is key. If I had a mic, I'd drop it. Subscribe.